वेलकम टू शिफाज रसोई एंड टुडे आई एम मेकिंग अ फिश हरा मसाला और फिश एंड ग्रीन ग्रेवी सो आई हैव टेकन हाफ के जी ऑफ फिश ओवर हेयर एंड यू कैन टेक एनी काइंड ऑफ फिश लाइक सुरमई और किंग फिश और इवन रावस दे आर गुड फॉर द ग्रेवी एंड फॉर मेकिंग द मसाला हेयर आई गॉट वन हैंडफुल जनरस बंच ऑफ कोरियडर लीव्स टू मीडियम साइज आनियंस एंड आई हैव गॉट हाफ कप ऑफ योगर्ट and uh, green chilies to taste and about 10 garlic cloves and uh, you are go- we are going to make a paste out of all this so first we are going to add in all the dry ingredients and then the yogurt and also i'm going to add in about 4 tablespoons of grated coconut to the gravy and along with that i'm going to need 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste and half a teaspoon of cumin seeds and in the spices i've got 1/4 teaspoon of turmeric powder and half a teaspoon of very spicy red chili powder this chili powder does not impart any color so i'm adding this one because we want to maintain the green color and i'm adding salt to taste and half a teaspoon of garam masala I have heated about 4 tablespoons of oil in a pan and once it's hot we're going to add ginger garlic paste and also the cumin seeds and we're going to saute it till the raw smell of the ginger garlic paste is gone. Once that is done I'm going to add the grinded hara masala and do not forget that we we have even added the grated coconut to this masala and we're going to mix it well. And once it is mixed I'm going to add in some spices like turmeric powder and the very spicy red chili powder the very spicy red chili powder is totally optional if you do not have it you can add in some more green chilies and uh, make it a bit spicy fish curry always tastes good when it is a bit spicy and now we are going to lower the flame and saute this hara masala uh, till the moisture from the yogurt onions and grated coconut is totally evaporated and oil comes to the surface of the pan the oil has started oozing out of the masala but still there is a raw smell of the yogurt and the onions so i have added some salt and garam masala powder and i'm going to roast this again with the help of about 1/4 cup of water and we are going to let it roast very well till the raw smell of the masala goes off now our masala is roasted very well so i'm going to lower in the fish pieces into the gravy Now I'm going to add in water according to the consistency of the gravy I want. So I'm going to add in a bit more water. And now we don't need the spoon into this uh, pot uh, because we are not going to use the spoon to mix the gravy. So we are just going to move the bowl in such a way so that the gravy is mixed. And we are going to let it boil on a low flame for about 15 minutes. So about after 15 minutes, here the gravy is cooked very well. I did a taste test and everything seems to be okay. And even the fish is cooked well. So uh, we are going to serve it. now so guys here our fish hara masala is ready serve it with rice or roti and do give it a try post me your comments and share my videos with your family and friends and thank you for watching my video